Good morning, how's it going? Look at this scene behind us, incredible. Let me show you the time. It is uh, 6.31 on this beautiful morning. And what I wanna do is I wanna talk about my favorite quirks and features of the Cabri G2. Now this is what uh, Doug DeMiro says, and uh, I kinda wanna do the same thing talking about this. So I'm gonna flip this microphone real quick, just so it's pointed at me. And there you go. And while we're here, let me just show you guys where I landed. We are in the mountains of Vermont right now, and it is stunning. We are uh, gonna soak it all in. It's 6.30 in the morning, it's the perfect temperature. But I'm gonna do this all in one take. Uh, I'm kinda just gonna quickly go through and point out all the different things that I love about it as we walk around it. Um, so first off, this helicopter is incredibly comfortable to fly. And its main purpose, I, I kinda see it as a trainer helicopter, you know? You could buy one for yourself and it would be uh, pretty useful. It's just, with those two seats, it's not super ideal. Um, like the Robinson R44 would even be a better uh, use if you want to carry passengers and stuff, but it is an incredible trainer um, So as we go through it uh, The door is very lightweight But I want to start with the top down now as a Robinson person I came from the Robinsons This is by far one of the biggest safety things uh, Safety features that I love about it. So here is the instrument panel, but down here or up here, excuse me, this is the mixture control. So right now it is full lean. To put the mixture in rich, you push this forward like a real helicopter. This is the rotor brake, so to bring the blades to a stop. But this is how you control mixture. You know, unlike uh, the Robinson R22s where you can inadvertently pull the mixture off, pretty hard to inadvertently do that. So I love that that's where the mixture is. Um, the other thing I love as we're uh, kind of working our way top down is the windshield. Now what you'll notice about the windshield is there is no seam. It is one continuous windshield which just allows really uh, unrestricted visibility. I also love uh, the foot windows and as you're flying around uh, I enjoy that. Down here is the pitot tube which is uh, in a different location than uh, many aircraft which is up top so it's down below which is just fine. Haven't noticed any problems with that. Oh, there's my Siri. Sorry about that, Siri went off. Uh, so obviously one of the biggest upgrades uh, that uh, over a Robinson that I like about this is uh, the center cyclic. Each pilot has their own cyclic. Now if you're asking, so the pilot seat is the right seat, what is this red thing? This is a cargo hook release. So underneath the helicopter, See that hook? You can uh, attach a rope and do some long line training with that. But it kind of goes without saying, um, the Cabrio has done a really nice job at modernizing the cockpit. So you've got your regular some steam gauges, but we've got a lot of information. And I'll turn this on here. Um, one thing that I like about this is it calculates your fuel burn, so your average fuel consumption. So you're gonna see when this pops up here. Give it a second here, it's just going through its boot up. This is a backup uh, rotor RPM indication, so if you lose this, uh, you can tell if your RPMs are too high, but you can see the average consumption, 8.3 gallons, so it'll calculate that for every flight. It's still going through its warm up. But I mean, having your carburetor heat, your cylinder head temperature, oil temperature, um, your flow, your power, uh, your RPM, and your fuel, uh, it's really nice and you know, it's just nice to have everything uh, you want right there uh, All of your switches really nice radios transponder not too different there back here are your circuit breakers um, Your Hobbs meter and then as we're working our way around I can turn this off here and I'm kind of just having fun here underneath uh, Pretty free and open space now what you don't want to do is put things underneath uh, the reason is, if you have a crash, these seats are going to slide down and compact, um, which, uh, which you want, so that'll, that'll save your back. Now this, this is massively important. Look at that. 45 gallons, 170 liters. That is ridiculous. That is an insane amount of fuel. You know, solo with like 45 gallons of fuel, you can fly for a long time. Now, so you're like, okay, so you've got this massive fuel tank. What's on the other side? Well, let me show you. 
If you come around here, on the pilot side, you open that up, and then in here, so down here's uh, the fire extinguisher. Back here, you've got this, kind of hard to see, but you've got this silver tab. So if you pull this silver tab up, like that, this back door pops open, and here we have our storage area. So I've got it full of stuff right now, uh, my camera equipment, my headset bag, but I'll pull this out. Do you see what I'm carrying with me? I'm carrying the wheels of the helicopter. I can bring the wheels with me and be able to park wherever I need to and move the helicopter. There's the blade ties. More blade ties, another one. We've got my backpack full of uh, my laptop. And we still have open area in here, a first aid kit. We've got this upper area. And back here you can th throw 88 pounds of stuff or 40 kilograms of stuff. I mean, look at that. I still have more stuff in there. That is a game changer, specifically the wheels. You know, you land somewhere, you have to push it into a hangar or something. That is awesome. I love that about this. The other thing that we're on this back side, I'm gonna come over to the other side and show you. You can tell I can kind of get excited about this just because it's a very well-designed aircraft. So we've got a hinge underneath here. So you pop that hinge, and then I just did this one, but you pop this hinge, and then you pull out, and boom, there's your engine. Look at how easily you have access to whatever you need. Let me show you there. Everything, you know, as a I'm not a mechanic, but if I were a mechanic, I love that I just have access to everything, you know? The entire engine is accessible. <laughs> Horizontal stabilizer, finish drum tail rotor. Now, you know, some people talk um, and say you don't have as great tail rotor authority. I haven't experienced that at all. You know, I felt like I've had everything I've needed. Um, you know, you can, it, it is a really big fin, so you can get into some weird LTE tail fin stall situations, but you know, it's worked great for me. I haven't, no, I haven't been flying it that long, but you know, it's worked great for me. But one thing that I really like uh, that was new to me when I started flying this helicopter, this blue thing. This is our uh, tail rotor gearbox. So this is how we shift directions of the axes. But this is our chip detector. So uh, if something in the tail rotor gearbox chips off and breaks, you pull this out, you can check your chip detector. See if there's any uh, particles on it. Pretty awesome. And you know, uh, things don't, uh, oil doesn't start flowing out. So you can check that real quick. That is, uh, that's pretty sweet. As we continue coming down, same thing, this hinge here, and this hinge here, open those up. Look at that, boom, oil filter, dipstick, gas glider. I mean, really, like, you can see this helicopter, when it's opened up, you've got access to everything. There's not too much that you would really have to like take apart to get to get to where you need to be. And I love that about it. Look how much stuff I can carry. You know, it also goes without saying, having three blades is kind of nice. Uh, it feels nice to have a little bit more uh, metal above your head, if you know what I mean. Let's see if there's anything else inside. Oh yeah, this is big. Big time, big time. So this one doesn't have a GPS, which is fine. Um, some of our other uh, cabbies that we have do have GPSs. But look right here, flip that out, boom. What is that? Phone holder, iPad holder with a charger. Let me show you right here. If I plug this in here, that's how I navigate with this one. I just throw my GPS in there, uh, throw my phone in there, use floor flight, and then my GPS charges, or my phone charges, sorry about that. And I have a GPS, look at that. It charges, and it charges quick too, no problems. Isn't that insane? I mean, that's just, that's just awesome to me. Also, that storage area, you have access to it from the back. So, here's that uh, storage area. You can access that from here. Boom. Throw my phone, my wallet right back here if I need it. Awesome, POH is stored up here. And I'll just give you the once over here. I mean, there's just a lot to love about this helicopter. Um, 
not too many downsides you know it's, it's got lots of power uh you can get into ground resonance with that articulated rotor system but other than that you know pretty sweet setup they did a really nice job designing it i mean just look at this view oh man oh goodness gracious i love that i can bring the wheels i know i uh, sound like a broken record but i love that about it you know all right, let me flip this around. You know, I feel incredibly lucky to get to fly this aircraft, along with any aircraft. Um, it's uh, it's very special to be able to just fly an aircraft, fly a cool new helicopter. I think this one's a 2017. It's pretty awesome. Um, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And you know, there's all these big helicopters out there, those turbine helicopters, which are exciting and fun, but you know, a really nice well-designed piston helicopter there's nothing wrong with it like it, it gets the job done uh, as a training helicopter I honestly you know there's not too much more you could ask for I love that even with two people let me show you I've got this app real I'll show you this app real quick you know so I've got this app uh, that you can pull up and I will show you if you uh, have the left door on uh, the left seat uh, which is the co-pilot seat with a zero weight uh, front luggage let's say we've got a oh zero in the luggage uh, the gallons of fuel let's top that out main luggage let's see we've got a uh, 35 pounds of stuff in there right see uh, that's how much I weigh we're so within weight and balance I mean I can't even get this thing out of weight and balance you'd have to be uh, let's see 280 ish pounds to get this thing out of weight and balance main luggage let's say we uh, top that out as well 88 ish pounds 88 let's see how much you can weigh to be in that 230 ish pounds I mean insane you just have so much so many options here and then let's say uh, you put only like 10 pounds of stuff in there how much can your left seat passenger weigh whoops Let's see. And so you can just play with these numbers. So let's maybe we take uh, 23 gallons of fuel. How much can that passenger weigh? We're getting up there. 180, and then we take uh, 29 gallons of fuel, you know? So you can just play with the numbers, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, this app is called uh, G2 Weight and Balance. Let's see, G2 Weight and Balance, awesome. All right, but I'll wrap it up there. That is the Cabri G2. Lots of quirks and features. You know, I kind of just ran through it, talking about what I love about it, and there's there's a ton of it. Um, I haven't been flying it that long, but I've really come to enjoy it. And hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions, let me know, because I'll definitely be able to do more of this content. I'm gonna, on this channel, I'll have a lot more Cabri content coming out. So if you have questions, let me know, but beautiful helicopter, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.